Is it cool, guys, if I show Chris a surprise? Can I see? Of course you can. I got my glasses we're on. We're experiencing I technical see. difficulties. Oh, uh, dude, welcome to the Two Clouded Minds. <laughs> for sure. We're, oh, we we're the number on... one problem-having podcast in America. Yeah, for sure. We're number one at having I'm problems. Sure we, we give you a run for your money. <laughs> we don't strive <laughs> to be the best. We strive to have the most problems. <laughs> Fellas, welcome to the Two Clouded Minds show. Hey friends, it's time for another new episode of the Two Cloud of Mind Show with your favorite hosts, Chris. I have a very caveman brain. And Dave. He's falling apart in front of our eyes. Subscribe to the Two Cloud of Mind Show on YouTube you see our pretty and everywhere you get your podcasts. That was really cool. Yeah, that's fucking cool, man. That was really cool. I'm Dave. He's Chris, and this is the Two Cloud of Mind Show, guys. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thanks for having us. Hey, thanks for I, coming, dude. In. I'm shook. That was, you guys just saw that in real time with me for the first time. Yeah, it was yeah. a full, a full first time. Uh, because now that we're out of the Halloween season and and now we're into November, wink, wink. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. We have. I, I've been telling Chris that we've been. You know, I've been working on a new intro for our show that we can hit and we can start it off the right way. And so you guys got a chance to see the first time with Chris as well. So yeah, it's. I feel honored. That's yeah, wet, awesome, right? dude. I'm wet. What did you guys think? I don't. I, we'll go around the room. First of all, welcome to the Jersey Shore Musicians <laughs> Podcast. First of all, welcome guys. Thank you very much for coming in Jersey Shore Musicians you. Podcast. We golf cap, golf clap. Beautiful, <laughs> Matt. Yeah. And Jeff, you. thank you so much for coming in. Matt, what did you think of my intro that I made? Pretty, it was pretty rad, man. Thank you, thank Yo, you. You look at you. Jeff, gas me up. Don't, man, Don't it was exciting. You. Like, I, I heard the music come on, all these <laughs> things coming at my face, like lights and shit. I was like, that's fucking awesome. Good we job. Got, we got to keep him on his toes. Chris, Chris, what did you think of the new intro? I'm only buddy? kidding. It was pretty rad, dude. I like it. You like that? I like it. Cool. I don't like hearing my own voice. Nobody does. That was a little weird. Uh, yeah, I don't think but, anybody does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Nobody but does. yeah, I like it. I, Dude, killer job. That was Thank you. Sick, and you know what the nice edit. thing about it is? The way I, I made it so that I could always add to it and take away, like, for example, the pictures and images that you saw there of the people Past that have been in so far. Whatnot, yeah. I can always add, put new people in, put different people in. Now that we've had these guys on, I oh, can yeah. stick them in the intro as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? As long as they say something funny. We never know. <laughs> nah, I can't, we're not funny, though. That's the we'll fucked see. up part. <laughs> Neither are we. <laughs> Like yeah. I said, we started just because we were two musicians and then COVID hit and we got bored. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so start there. Jump right into it right there. Like for anybody, like a lot of our viewers probably don't know anything about the Jersey Shore Musicians Podcast. Me and Chris did a little bit of homework. So kind of fill us in. Which tell us about your deal. Well, me and Jeff, we've been playing music together for probably going on almost 15 years now. Awesome. And we've been, in, yeah, 2008. Wait a minute. Yeah. Jeff. Yes. You play guitar. Maybe. You do. Yeah, I, do. I know where I know you from. I auditioned to, to sing in a band with you. Didn't you play in a, you played, there was a dude named, there was a dude who played bass and a guy who played drums and you were the guitar player and you guys practiced in a basement and you were auditioning vocalists. No, no, no you know maybe. what? Maybe I'm thinking of a different group definitely, now. No, definitely not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> all that hype. I was like, oh, oh man, oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Wah, wah, it's all good. It's all good. Wah, My bad. <laughs> but I think that there's a connection there. I think that, that, there is, that there's a I'll figure something connection out. somewhere there. Anyway, you guys were playing together. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been playing together for years. And then, like I said, we had talked about wanting to do something. And then uh, and then COVID hit and we, we didn't really have anything to do and we were bored. So we were like, you know what? Let's let's start a little podcast. We we will we started with just bringing like one person in at a time, you know, because you know at that point, who knew what the hell was actually going on and keeping distances, and it slowly evolved into you know we have bands, anything to deal with music, sound guys, bands, photographers, and then the bands that come in, they do acoustic performances in the studio, and we tape it all, and that's awesome. Yeah, that's rad. I think that's right awesome. now we're up to like forty two or forty four bands, something we've had on so really? far. Really, yeah. thick nice. dudes. Yeah. Congratulations. We do, we do little shows at uh, Mount Ferkin Brewery down in Mount Hawkin. We've been, you know, just putting together little collectives. We try to do like a little mixed bag, something for everybody, you know. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. So what uh, So, what instrument do you play? Do you play guitar? Yes, I do play guitar. Okay, cool. And what if what, he played the triangle? Well, the thing is, he, well, the way he answered maybe. I'm enough to play the triangle, man. <laughs> Dude, I, I There's play a lot a of mean, nuance. There's I play a, a mean nuance. triangle, all right? Mean triangle. <laughs> what instrument do you play? No, I play bass. Oh, you do? Cool. Yeah. And so, 
you guys were performing before COVID hit. Yeah. So, like, what kind of stuff did you usually perform? Original stuff, or cover stuff, or mostly original. Yeah. 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 Just, we've, uh, uh, like I said, we've done a couple bunch of stuff through the years with each other, but like, so the latest project we have it's called Sonic Honey. It's uh, I don't know if you guys heard a local band called Second Skin. The singer Jesse Shar from that band sings in our band, and yeah, we was just you know we're not we don't play out shows in this band. We're just like you know studio based, putting out a little single here, single there. That's that's kind of the way, or I should say that's a way to do it these days. I mean, it's not you don't have to go out and play around anymore play gigs you could just put stuff on youtube right yeah yeah i i, I was in a stoner rock band for 13 years i sang in that he was in uh in Ro- rope tree for yeah. forever yeah he's played guitar in rope tree for a long time and there's no more places to play they're yeah. like all gone you know like and nobody gives a shit about rock music anymore that's true that well that, sucks. That, that that's a big deal yeah, that, that sucks that, but it's true i know it sucks but i it's lived true. on long island and the long island hardcore scene was fucking awesome and then one day it just fell off a fucking cliff Wow. Oh, it's just like around here. I, I, like we tell everybody on our podcast, name one re- like actual music venue in Ocean County, the entire county. Wow, there, there isn't used, one. There used to be a lot. Like, well, wait a minute. So yeah, it used to be. You used to have the green room in the sawmill and Joey Harrison's in Ortley. And that fell in the ocean. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Did it yeah, really? Sandy. Yeah. Sandy. Sandy yeah. wiped it out. Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, my band played there. We played there a few times. I played in a band a couple of times yeah. uh, for a couple of years myself, and we played there back in the day as well. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm happy to say I was able to play there. I mean, you're starting to see off. the resurgence of like you know the VFW shows and you know stuff like that and house shows. I miss right. those. Yeah, there's I actually been a big a resurgence kid. in house shows lately. It's and it's that's so crazy. foreign to me. Like I, really? when I started off and growing up and stuff, it was always like you know going to Surf Club or, um, you know, Birch Hill to you know then Starland. And like it's just stuff like that. And like I never heard of the VFW thing. Oh, until it's so rad! Until, it's yeah, so see, but raw. you're more of like a straight up rock kind of guy. Like <laughs> yeah. the VFW scene was definitely more of a hardcore hardcore thing. shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they would play a, bit, a show wherever. Yeah, you know, you'd play like, a show in, like, a Denny's. And there'd, you know, <laughs> there'd be some show in someone's basement, and they would just uh, say, ask for directions on the flyer. You know? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I miss those. <laughs> Chris, theoretically, we could do that here because there's a rehearsal space right next door, right? True. I can't. Theoretically. I did. I'm not. Yeah, the insurance, no. I'm, dude, <laughs> yep. things will get broke. I don't want anybody in You don't our... even got to worry about things getting broke. You got to worry about people getting broke. Yeah, yeah. that too. You know, if someone gets hurt, you're... you're you That's guys know Boy Sets Fire? Yeah. So I was at their first show in 1994, Newark, Delaware. It was in a big white church with a... It was a, a little white church with a big red door. It was the sickest thing, and that's what we used to do. We used to go to churches and VFWs and stuff. They had shows at uh, our high school, like, cafeteria sometimes. It was pretty cool, man. Wow, that's crazy. But like yeah. you said, you're seeing the resurgence tonight, like the Trinity Church in Asbury has shows here and there. And- As where? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> good, thanks, man. Does the Stone po- <laughs> no, good, thanks. Is the Stone Pony still a viable, like, place where bands go, or is it just... It is. It is, but the... Um- the cover scene has kind of started infiltrating that place. Like oh, a lot. Yeah, you see a lot, Actually, a lot of places in Asbury, you lot. like tribute bands, cover really? bands. So you guys don't like cover bands? No, I mean, I like them. I have them nothing and, against them. Like, no. you know, they're oh, making money. Say. They're doing their job. Because yeah. of where I work, I'm just so sick of hearing the same songs. But that's the whole <laughs> we thing. We don't they advocate for cookie it. Cutters. You yeah. know, but yeah. there's a time and a place. Time and I, a place. Yeah, no, for sure. For yeah. sure. For sure. I think but, it also matters where you live, too. Because, like, for example, in the city, cover bands, nobody... There's, there are no cover bands. Like, in, in, in New York, everybody wants original bands. That's why they have a thriving original music scene. Yeah. yeah. That's why we don't. <laughs> Interesting. Not yet. Interesting. Not yet. Maybe and that's we'll what, that's what we're 16. trying to do with our podcast is, is try to rebuild somewhat of a music community around here and bring in, like I said, I like to do mixed bag shows where our first show that we did down at Manifurk and the first band was like, they call themselves post 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 apocalyptic folk music. Okay. And they what? And, and uh and then the second band was uh Dude, like was a spaghetti a spaghetti western it. kind of rockabilly feel with two upright bases. And then the third band was a straight out hardcore band. Wow. But everybody stayed for all and the bands. And they're all local. Yeah, and they're all locals. So, and everybody got to mix with everybody and everybody's fans cheered for all the different bands. It was what it's supposed to be. Nice. You know? Yeah, and everybody got a chance to a little taste of something else. Yeah, a little something. New. I made it. It's like you know, progressively got harder throughout the day. You didn't just blow out their ears right off the bat. You know, smart. Start start smooth and then work your way up to it. And right on. And then that way everybody knows what they're getting into. You know, you you. you I'm sure you put out a set list or something, and everybody kind of 
yeah. understands what the, yep. the day is going to entail. Did we? Did we do that? <laughs> yeah, no, remember. we didn't really put out a set list, but uh, or well, like I what do they call it when there's a band when the list of bands, not a set list, something else. We put out flyers and things like that too. Oh, we I did like the other flyers. It's online. usually in the back room, like blah 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 goes on at this time. Yeah, blah, like blah. who who the, the lineup? Called, maybe the yeah, band lineup? Yeah, sure, we'll call it band lineup. And the way yeah, I've been trying to do this too is I, I space them out pretty call far, she, yeah, yeah, so I have a lot of time to promote. That's acting. Oh fuck. Sorry, go ahead, Matt. I've been trying trying to space them out and like not do more than like you know one maybe once every two months. So I have a lot of time to really push the show, and then all the bands that we do have on our shows, we've also had on the podcast. So I also post clips of them performing on the podcast to promote each band individually. And it's also you're not watering it down. If you do it, space it out. You're not you're not watering it down to the point where people are just like, all right, enough already. Well, that's what I do. It's, it, it, I don't want every show to only have ten people. So if I if I space them out, yeah. you get a better turnout for every nice. show as well. You know. And so you do them usually at Manifurkin. Yeah, that's where we've done two of them so far. Yeah. Cool, Chris. We got to go to one of those. You, I, I, I don't even know where that is. It's in Manahawken. Right off Route 72, like you're going to LBI. Dude, don't feel bad. I just put it in my phone, and I just follow what the lady says. <laughs> that's what everybody does. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, what, we all, that's what we all do. Yeah. You know, like, so we do them outside there in the summer. We can't do full bands in the winter. We're going to be doing like a more like uh, intimate kind of acoustic thing in the winter. Okay. Maybe like some open mic with it, too, just to have some people, you know, draw more people in. and Just trying things to see what sticks and, you know, what we can uh, not get in trouble for, you know. <laughs> Pushing it all the way to the limit. Well, yeah, I mean, usually five or six beers, you're you're gonna start pushing it to the limit, but because it's like what nine percent alcohol, or something. Oh, yeah, they got good beer. Yeah, real good beer. Yeah, I I'm aware of them, but I don't know I don't know anything about their stuff. But I know I, like, good I heard the name. Good people. Yeah. Man. That's beer. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's a good start. Yeah, it's it's definitely a good start. I approached them and I said, "This is what I want to do," and they're like, "We're in, and here's the day you can have. You can do whatever the fuck you want." Wow. Just here you go. Here's the reins. Take away. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I, that, that, it's a cool thing about like a brewer, a, a small brewer like that. They're sort of an artist in themselves too. So they can sort of relate to the artist's, yeah. you know, struggle in the art. And, and, and it's easy to, for them to sort of open their, their arms and be like, hey, yeah, we see what you're trying to do. You see what we're trying to do. Let's, you know, let's do something together. Like if you had gone to like a bar, the bar probably wouldn't have been as as willing, or there might have been like, okay, you pay us at X Y Z, and you yeah. can have the space. And they're gonna you know? be like, you, you're gonna play Sweet Caroline, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's that was that's pretty smart. And and again, you're establishing that community, that local community. Yeah, and it sucks too because they get they get handcuffed a lot by the ABC laws. They're only allowed to have so many events in a certain time period. Hey, hey, real quick, listen. When the microphone goes out like that, pull the fuck. Oh, sorry. There you go. Perfect. You just got <laughs> mic shamed, <laughs> wow. Mr. Mr. Studio over here. There's wow, a heavy still... gate. We have a head. The gate swings closed very hard on you. <laughs> oh, I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Sorry. You're still learning. You're I'm, okay. it's, that's all right. Yeah. 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 So instead of me doing all the talking, how about you fucking talk? I just, I am actually just here to listen to you and your wisdom. <laughs> no, I'm like it? I'm the negative one of out of out of us. I'm like the one like oh local music scene, yeah, fucking burn it down, start <laughs> over. Like, <what> the fuck, <laughs> cares? Yeah, it's true. fuck this place, you know. Like maybe you know what? Maybe if we burn it down though, and it starts over, you'll get like some guys like, man, I don't need money. We're just gonna like kind of like make cool shows. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have those guys. They're all shysters now. So burn it down. Fuck it. Really, right at the end of the day. And who are the shysters, the bo- the booking agents? I would say them, the owners. I mean, man, I even think some bar owners are starting to become like that, you know, where it's just like, man, you sound like shit, but you brought a thousand fucking people here, so they drank all my beer. I'm, you're great. You have every night. And yeah. Man, money, and it just, money talks. It makes it's it true. like horrible. You know, and I'm just saying it from that point of view. Um, I mean, that also goes with some of the original stuff where it's just like, Band could be terrible, but they just bought a thousand tickets, or you know, you gotta sell a hundred tickets. Well, here's a hundred and two. Okay, you're the opener, yeah, and you sound like crap, yeah, Sucks. you know. So I mean, Sucks. it's you know, I hate saying the word politics and music, but uh, you know, it is no matter what it is. Yeah, it's you know? tough because because the, all these people are you know everybody you just mentioned, they're all in it in biz in that business to make the money, not to make the music. Yeah, but you would think. Maybe it sounds dumb, but like the bar that's going to hire you is going to do a better vetting process. No, 
They don't care. He just described it pretty accurately. It's it's about it's about how many butts it's about you put the in money. seats. That's yeah. fucking. My, I mean, my, I band got, my band got my band got booked it, but... a lot back in the day, regularly because we put butts in seats and we turned over. And at one point, we we used to play. And you sucked. No, we were good. <laughs> the no, nice no, no, thing no. Is, we were good. The nice thing is we were actually pretty good. We had some. We had it was like a ta- talented group of dudes at the time. We were, it was I was pretty pretty lucky. But the point was. Uh, uh, we played a three-hour set at this restaurant, uh, a coffee house place, and we would we were like the first time we went in there, we ended up getting booked. We did every last Friday of the month for like a year or two years or something, and he we did an hour, took a break, did an hour, took a break, did an hour, right? Three-hour set, whatever, yeah. fine. The guy comes up to us at the end of the night and he was like, "You guys are amazing, blah 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 blah. I can't wait to have you back next month." Da 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 da. But can you do me a favor? And instead of playing an hour set, can you play like 20 minutes at a time and take breaks? And we're like, we're like sure, why? He's like, I want to turn over more tables. Because the people were just sitting in their chairs li- listening to us play instead of wow. getting up and leaving. And he was like, can you? So we started playing 20 minute sets and the guy, the place was packed and he was turning over tables all, all night long. Yeah, because it's all about the money. It's, it's all, all about, about the, the music. Well, you gotta yeah. remember, it's a music. And we were business. young, and it yeah. hit me sideways when I because I was real young at the time. I was like just out, of, I was like just out of high school, fresh in college, and and I was like, oh shit, you know, like okay, I thought we were being cool by playing an hour worth of music, and then like okay, another hour. He goes, yeah, could you play it like maybe twenty minutes at a time? And I was like, oh wow, I never thought about that. And then we did. Um, yeah. And that man made money, and he kept paying us money, and that was good. Well, yeah, yeah. as long as the money keeps switching hands. That's and that's what it cool. comes down to. you yeah. know. And we, but we were able to sprinkle original music in there, mm-hmm. but people in, people in this area didn't go to that, got to go to any place. They don't go to any place to hear original music. No. They go to hear the songs that they know. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we all get sick of that stuff, listening to all those covers over and over and over again. True. My I band wonder... played at a skate park once. That was pretty sick. Say that again? My band played at a skate park once. That was pretty sick. That is cool. That is cool, actually. Yeah, that was really sick. What did you play in the band? I what? was a singer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sing something. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never. What kind of band was it? It was a hardcore band. Oh, okay. So you yeah. were more like a screamer yeller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair fair enough. Did you write the lyrics? I did. Okay. I did. Scream some. No. Yeah, I was going to no. say it's screaming. Never. Yeah, do it. You got it. Never. He's like, it through the gate. Those days are over. Yeah, <laughs> I can't reopen. I can't reopen those wounds. No, I mean, I have no problem doing it. It's just no. Suddenly, Chris's Never hair is suddenly black and covering one eye for some reason. <laughs> you can go on Patreon and we'll do it on Patreon. <laughs> there you go. There you do go. it on Patreon. Yeah, yeah, it was fun, man. I fucking my guitar player and my drummer hated me because we had to bring like six microphones because I bashed them over my head until they broke. Huh. Like the Shore, like 58s. That, those are expensive, dude. You're just running through money. Well, too. Back then, yeah. back then, they were only like 50 bucks. And my drummer's parents were hella rich. So they, <laughs> they bought. So they were just buying, they, like, yeah. buying them by the dozen. Yeah. And just breaking hurt, microphones. Though. Dude, I, yeah. was bl- I bled every show. Like, yeah, serious that, blood every That show. puts the butts in the seats, though. That's, How come you're not bleeding for this show, dude? <laughs> it's all for the show. That's yeah. why. I bleed in other ways. Like, oh. Yeah, well, you have them. Where's the wheel, by the way? The wheel, after I sent you that picture, we had a bit you, of a mishap. Uh oh. Okay, oh, so no. t- for, for context, he, we, had a, we have a wheel There's of a doom. There's a wheel of doom. Yeah, I was going to say dads, but that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And we wrote a bunch of different things. You could take the marker and write a bunch of different things. So some things are good, some things are bad. We taped a, a couple of. Uh, There's some money taped to the wheel. Yeah, so if you spend 20, it, you like a $20 a dollar bill. bill. So we got the wheel, but the wheel didn't spin very well. So Chris took it and serviced to the wheel, and the wheel spin spun marvelously. He sent me a video, and it just kept spinning. I might still be spinning as far as I'm as far as I'm concerned. So what it was spins the, real good? But what was the <laughs> now? Tell me what the mishap was. So I gave it one more spin right when I was about to leave work. <laughs> just one last spin. I one understand. Last spin. I understand. Last, it was so smooth. Yeah, it was. I gave it one last spin. Go check ahead. it because I was about to leave the workshop with all and it my flew shit away. No, the 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 ticker. Uh huh snapped no so it dude so it wasn't it, even it the ticker now, wasn't able to handle how well the wheel was now, now it just now it probably still is currently right, spinning spinning because there's no <laughs> thing to stop there's it. no and that bearing i gave it a good wd-40 I'll bet you <laughs> spritz <did. laughs> yeah dude the thing is going right no so I, I, I once i i'm gonna tape up the tab real ghetto fabuloso like 
Make it look pretty. You can't just make a new one? I could probably make a new one. should probably make a new one that's more sturdy so it doesn't break because we can't have that shit happening. But it being too sturdy was the initial problem. Don't recall. What about like a uh, like a deck of cards, like a set that's of what cards. I'm thinking. Like cut like a piece of playing card. Yeah, stick it in there. Just like, like fucking put it in your bike spokes. Oh, just, yeah, it's man. just got to be enough to slow it down. <laughs> that's it. That's it. They just figured it out for us. That's it, guys. Thanks. We right. quit. The show's yours. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think we did our job. Thanks for having oh, us. Yeah. And, uh, we'll see. There oh. it is. Oh, there wow. it is. Oh, that looks really good. And it just keeps on spinning through the whole video. It never stops. <laughs> he did too good of a job. <laughs> I did. Right. Too I much did. WD-40. That's because I'm really terrified to land on certain things, like one chip challenge. I'd rather take the Sprite banana than the one chip challenge. <laughs> you narrow. Have you guys ever tried the one chip? Do you know what the one chip is? I know what it is, but no, I would not try that. Oh, you, you would not? No. Okay. Not a spicy foods guy? The, nope. It's a good thing uh, the Jeff, wheel isn't no, here. I mean, Jeff, I would try Jeff's a, a maybe. spicy chip. Jeff, go ahead. What? No, keep talking. No, I mean, like, you know, I guess within reason. Like, I like you ever see that show with the fucking wings? Hot hot ones? Yes, and it has. I would love to do that. Okay, just to see how many, how just hot you could go. Just to see how far I could go, yeah. Well, you're a one-chip you challenge like, guy. Would you like to test your your abilities your moxie? right here? Oh yeah, my right God, here dude. on the show. I this would love a, to see this. this. This is a left turn that... Uh, um, Jeff, full disclosure, Jeff. Listen yeah. to what I'm about to say. Okay. This chip is fucking incredibly hot. It's the hottest chip you'll ever eat in your entire And I'll let you choose. No, 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 no. You got to give him a blue one. The green one's for the wheel. Yeah, the green one is. Yeah, that's the death chip. Somebody died. Yeah, 14 year old oh, kid good. died eating yeah. that. But okay. Yeah. But he was a bitch. So, anyway, the, this, the ch one. this chip is <laughs> ultra hot. Oh, I've seen people eat them. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, ate yeah, one yeah, a couple yeah. years ago. You uh, said years ago? Yeah, because they come out once a year. Oh, okay. So I ate a, a different edition. I didn't eat that edition. I yeah. ate a dish. A I've eaten them every year. One. I ate the 2019, 2020, no, 2020, 2021. I didn't do that one. You didn't do the blue one, so you didn't do that. And the 22 I, and the 23. We only, only have, one. have one of the. the Did you hear what happened with this? They put it on the, they because it used to be by order only. You can only order it directly from the company once a year, okay. and once they were out of stock, they were out of stock. Then this year they had a brilliant idea. Dude, they were Seven Eleven. Put them on the counter at Seven Eleven, so you right just go to, to any Seven Eleven oh and God. get a fucking hot, the hottest chip that'll burn your fucking head off. Right well, next to the candy. It, it, what worries me is it says it, it will turn your tongue blue. Well, this yeah, one, yeah, this yeah. one does. Because every year they try to like, you know, it's do something special to it, right? It's a Chris. Gimmick. Did your phone? Did your did your thing just make noise? It did, uh, didn't uh, it? Well, you're lucky the wheel's not here. <laughs> yeah, Think, thank God. We are super <laughs> professional here. Our phones make noise all the time. Oh. I want. I'm not gonna tell you that I put my phone on vibrate. So, sorry. I'm on do not disturb. It's because of the fucking Bluetooth is hooked up to the board for the buttons. Uh, through we the gotta, iPad. We got to figure something. So the iPad's what's making noise. Yeah, we got to figure something. So that, I should get a pass on that. I don't think so. Come on. <laughs> I don't think so. And now here's what. Well, you get a pass because the wheel's not here. So you do get a pass on it, but we do have to figure that out. Put it on the board. Can't you put the iPad on do not disturb yeah. too? Oh. Hmm. Smart guy. So Wait, figure, I got your back. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> All right, so we did our job twice. We'll see you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more job. What's that? You got to turn your tongue blue. Nah, I don't the think fans. I, that whole like tongue blue thing. I think that. it'll go away in like an hour. The blue. The, uh, that's the least of the concerns, buddy. If, 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 all you're, <laughs> if all you're worried about is a no, blue tongue. I, I swear pass. to you. Totally you hold on, hold on. on you see? Oh, yeah, Do Not Disturb is on. So where's the sound coming from? Is this place we got to figure that. Yes, it okay. is haunted. Well, there you go. Chris, yeah, we a had a spirit box in, the, in uh, on, the, on the other day. And, dude, yeah, there's some shit going on in this building. <laughs> like what? We heard, all right, so I had my buddy from Pittsburgh sitting there, a friend of mine from California, and then a friend from Jersey. We're just sitting here. Lights off, just the red lights on. So the, the studio lights weren't off. Weren't on. She has this thing. And she turns it on, and it starts fucking... It sounds like you're going through an old AM radio dial. Like you're in and out of frequencies. But it's saying shit. Whispering shit. Growling. It said Blaine's name. Out of nowhere. Blaine... 
I I got chills right now just thinking. I've about seen it. people with, on videos do this, the spirit box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought I was it's always bullshit. intrigued that by see if I was like, what, what actually makes that do that? That's Yo, what I'm saying, dude. Listen. There's a lot of radio frequency waves in this building. This ain't no f- just radio in this waves. <laughs> you, it's a it's a ten dollar app you download on your phone. Oh. So it's AI, or, or it's like it's listening it, to you like Siri. Yeah, I probably heard you, you say somebody say your name yes. and then repeated it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I yeah, said. Yeah, but you're, you're making Building spirit. Thing. I've like, heard you know, noises in here. I've definitely heard noises. <laughs> Although, yeah. Oh, I, when I'm I will here say by this. myself at night, yeah. Both of these things can be true. That spirit box can be a whole load of horse shit, and this place can still be haunted, which I think it is. I think we should try to get a real spirit box in here. Because we've had some stuff go on where we've had literal bumps in this room. Like, we've been recording, and it, we know it's just the two of us or the three of us in the room, in the building. Yeah, and a sound it'll be like a sound like it happened in the room with us, and we're all looking at each other just like, "Did you hear that too? You, you heard that right? <laughs> right? Most, like <laughs> most of the time, I pretend I didn't. Wait, hear so it. did it not record that sound? Oh no, we had the sounds. Oh, okay. There's a promo that I, I'm pretty sure it went out on our social media at one point in time where, or no, 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 it was like a, it was a we do cold opens. So before the or we used to do cold opens, now we do this sweet intro. But um, <laughs> in the cold open, I did I I, I included the, the section because we had just started recording and then the noise happens and you can hear the noise. And I like wrote on the screen the noise or whatever, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, Chris, did you hear that? And he's like, no, I didn't hear that. And I'm, <laughs> we're going back and forth for like two minutes about like whether or not we heard this noise. But I know there was a goddamn noise because it was on the recording, but we didn't know where the noise came from. So it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of just cool. saying. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying is all. That's all. Do you guys, do you guys believe in ghosts and shit? Sure. All right. I don't know. Like, I got I don't a question believe, for you. I got Jeff a strikes me you. as a skeptic. Just yeah. a round, I'm, not, I'm not a skeptic. skeptic. I'm just kind of like, whatever, man. I'm walking through this fucking world. Like, if something's going to come out from the wall or the ground. or See, I won't believe sky. it unless I see it. Yep. I yeah. see it, then I'll be like, okay, that's kind of cool. Please don't hurt me. Yeah. Just please don't wow, hurt me. You can, dude. yeah, you can do whatever you gotta do, but just please don't hurt me. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm if, gonna pee my pants, but do one of those pass through my body things, please. But just don't hurt me. Oh, that'd be fucking. And don't sick. stay there. Like, don't just go in and stay and fuck around with shit. Right. Like, yeah. Just please go pass through. Would I you wouldn't... fuck a ghost if you could? <laughs> was she hot? Yeah. Oh, then yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like when I was younger. We used to go out in the uh, out in the pines, and they had an old like a. Uh, it was a closed off, like, and it was an old boys' home, like a juvenile detention center, and there, we, there was some creepy fucking shit in that Oh, place, yeah, I oh, bet. Yeah. I bet. You'd be walking around here and all sorts, like, you know, run, running around upstairs, and you know there's nobody. It's in the middle of the fucking woods. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's nobody up there. Dude. Wait, Dude. Why are we talking about, like, all the scary shit? Because, you know, Halloween just passed, and it's still well, kind of okay, so like, the season. Let's talk about fucking Santa. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Santa. Wait, Santa's no, great. No. Santa or Jesus Christ. It's one at a time. One at a time. Oh, wait. Is it the same? <laughs> if, if you didn't notice, Jeff is very all about Christmas. I fuck it. I love Christmas. Are you really is a that Christmas person? Yeah. Really? He's really? got a Christmas really? band? <laughs> Wendy? Get out of here. What? Yeah. Stop right now. Dude. What is a Christmas band? Oh, man. It's so much fun. It's called the uh, the Mighty Tree Toppers. <laughs> Oh, and what no. do you what do you play? I they play like that. rock, rock uh, versions of Christmas yeah. songs. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That is super cool. Do you where like where and when does somebody see that band? Uh, usually in breweries. Okay, <laughs> that's where you bring Dude, your you Christmas cheer. Dude, you should try to book right here. Where? Bar A. Uh, Bleep. Yeah. <laughs> you could make that happen. I I wow. could probably make I could uh, well. I could pro I I that's can't it. definitely, but I can well, I can probably put a good his, word. What's his I face could, plays it's there? A very interesting my thing. Also, is Eddie Testa. So oh okay yeah. No. So <laughs> you're in. You're in. The I try not to be. In. I kind of hate playing now. I hear you. But I like Christmas, so I mean I'll probably play Christmas. This this is the push pull of me and him. We're like very yin and yang. I'm all like, let's go do this. We'll play a show. We'll do this. And he's like, fuck that. I don't want to do shit. (laughs) He'll just be like, all right, how many people can you can you guarantee? Oh what? That there? Yeah, Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where that's it it is everywhere. But he knows people. (laughs) He knows people. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I I know? Nobody. Do you know who I'm with? So wait, what? Uh, when do do your Christmas decorations go up at home? Oh my, oh my god! No, I can't. I'm not allowed to. I'd be up now. Yeah. Yeah. Like Halloween's a speed bump, and I'm really not thankful <sighs> for anything. So ah! 
You know, like. <laughs> that's like little known fact. If you watch a lot of our podcast, there's always a TV on be- behind me and him. Yeah. Uh-huh. And if you look real hard, it's always on the fucking Hallmark channel. <laughs> oh, what, no, that's not true because there's the times where I'm like, I wanted to be fun. It's like I had a Britney Spears yeah, or live there's show football on. if we're watching football, you know, but, like some of the weirdest stuff on there. But there's a, there's a lot of them that it, like there's like a Christmas Hallmark movie playing behind us. <laughs> I'm not like wow. super into Christmas at all, but I want to be friends with you. Uh, well. <laughs> well, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking yeah. awesome. That's yeah, that is. That's very like that's wholesome. It is. Well, you know what? I've done a lot of bad things, so I guess this is my way of trying to like make up for it. By Hopefully. liking Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. I think so. He's, he's is, there any, is there any proof that it doesn't? I don't know. So I mean, there hey, you go. So I gotta try. There's no proof that anything that, that there's any difference between good and bad things. So you know. mm, I don't know. There's a lot of bad things. There's an awful <laughs> lot of bad things. For sure. <laughs> so, yeah, you yeah. know. I'm try something. Hey, man, if I had Rudolph in my backyard, I'd probably be set. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like the real reindeer? Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, he's got to have a red nose, though. That lights up. Or bleeds, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's red. It's got a little dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My, my yes. mind's clouded, so. Yes. That's fair. <laughs> we did our job. Yes, you yeah. did. <laughs> Man. I got a question for you. Both of you. You guys can, you know, discuss among yourselves. How many angry 12-year-old kids do you think you can beat in a fight at once? Angry 12 or just 12 in general? Like, do they have they're, to be they're angry? They're angry and angsty. So, like, do you think you can beat, like, 10, 12-year-olds in a fight? Like, am I allowed to break legs? You're allowed to do anything. Old, oh, no, dude, no I'll holds take bar. all 12 of those motherfuckers out. I say no. Yes, absolutely. 12. All 12. You say How about 15? First 10? The first I can say about 15. 10. 10. Yeah, easily. At once. Oh, yeah. At once. I've, I've, I've done a good bit of scrapping in my I, day. Same, dude. Dude, I box. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, I think I can only get like six. No way. At no, once? Wait, you're, you're, 12. You're, 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 but you got to remember, 12. the size difference, all you got to do is get one solid punch on one, and that one's done. Listen, yeah. they, they're not getting it's back It's like up. a video game, man. One hit knocks them out. And yeah. you just got to weather the initial storm. And, by and that's even You get a couple nice. down, and it's easier. I want to, like. You I, think you can get a couple with one swing. No, it's not even the swing. As they came to me, grab their arm, break it. That one's gone. Grab the other one, <laughs> kick them in the knee. No, that motherfucker will never just, run again. Just, just put bones a foot, and joints. Bones just put and joints. Put a foot yeah, right in their put chest. Them down. Put a foot right to the chest. And as they're crying, Done. walk over their face. <laughs> so what about okay? So what about fifteen? Fifteen what? Fifteen, twelve year old. Uh, I might need a two by four. No, no weapons. Oh, yeah, this is, we're all just. That's I mean, not gentlemanly. Hand, hand that, that that's could not be overwhelming, but I, I'd stay <laughs> optimistic and I'd say I could take fifteen of them. About twenty. Wow. Twenty. Yeah, that's that's pushing it. How about eighteen? Eighteen. <laughs> we, we might call it at eighteen. Chris, get on the phone. Call eighteen kids. I can't be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> can we do like an you AI? brought it up? <laughs> we, can, I can't be a part of like the, the in real life thing. But can we like AI generate a battle? I will. I wish that we could do stuff like that. And like we'll I, put like I, all of our enough. individual like stats and stuff in there. That would right, be like fun. do like an actual bond. G- so right, we'll, a simulation. Wait, let me ask you a question. Though. Go ahead. Let's say there's 20 kids at you. Yes. And you had a lightsaber. Ooh. It would call, be over Just quick. call me fucking oh, Anakin over, Skywalker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be over quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a couple swipes. Yep. <laughs> Pull a little Anakin. Them, them yeah. younglings don't stand You could probably chance. just do it in one <laughs> yeah. swipe if you yeah. did it good. You know? I've got a bad feeling. I'm no Jedi. <laughs> I'm no Jedi. I'm hitting myself in the foot at least once in that fucking thing. Well, you hit yourself sure. in the foot. It's not going to end well. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. It's uh, like that. I'm telling you, man. I, I don't think I'd bode well against a group of fucking 12-year-olds. So you're saying you wouldn't even make 10? I don't know if I can make ten. Yes, you could. That's see now that's ridiculous. So wait, wait, are, do you, are you like, power to weight ratio? Are, if they gang are they like up ninjas? Well, that's why you break things. Yeah, see, I you guess have you're to right. be. You just have to be extreme they you with like, extreme prejudice. You like, have to eliminate with extreme prejudice. Yeah. Think about it like this: like my dog, she's fifty-five pounds. She pulls me. Like she has the strength to physically pull me. And. Think about how much a twelve-year-old weighs. About yeah, but you're, pounds, but, right? but your dog is pulling you. Yeah. Like you're not necessarily balanced and ready like, for okay, it. Like okay, what if you're it was a like, stranger's dog coming at you? It's going to bite your neck. What do you do? Uh, see, I'm just gonna pr- try to just protect myself because I really like animals. Yeah. I know. As it lunges, dumb... you grab its nose and shove it right into mm. the ground. And if it breaks, that's even better. Oh, burn it down. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my bad. <laughs> 
I got bit by a dog the other day. It was a little, no, you did not. a little tiny dog, and it was a little tiny bite. Did you but kill I still it? got bit. I was like, did I was you like, kill it? No, I didn't kill it. I was, I was, I was at work. You don't want to see a dead no, workers' comp. Right. Well, yeah, I got to file a claim. <laughs> it was this tiny little dog, and I, I was like, wait, did that just happen? And then she goes, did it get you? And I'm like, I think so. She goes, it's such a bad dog. What? And I was like, <laughs> it's, the little ones are always the biters. How do you say that about your own dog? Because it's, you're it's such a bad dog. You're a you're bad a dog stupid owner. Stupid owner. Yeah. yeah. I wow. I got a great Dane Mastiff, and that's like the most gentle dog you'll ever meet. I oh. agree with you. The only the little dogs are the that's ones that'll awesome. like for some reason just try to nip at you. Yeah. She she's gigantic. She's like 130 pounds. Which she's she's the nicest dog you'll ever come across. Gentle. That's sick. That's sick. wow. There's something wrong with me. Why? Because you guys are all telling these stories, and every single one of them be like, I'd kill that. You, <laughs> you would bit me. I'd kill it. Well, if you if it bit you, it's a different. You're story. a cat yeah. person. Yeah, I'd kill them too. <laughs> I uh, hit one with a pool noodle, noodle the other day. This <laughs> is in my fucking way. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I, I know I'm a bad person. That's why I'm in a Christmas band. We had a. <laughs> you're doing your penance. <laughs> there you go. Hey, look, it bounces right. It's out. not penance. I enjoy it. I think it's what's taking my soul and making it whole again. Ah, the little redemption story. There you go. Nice. Uh, uh, listen, tweet it around. If that's what works, then <laughs> listen. <laughs> If it makes you happy. Well, maybe I'm just really drunk and fucking with you guys right now. <clears throat> no, nah, he said that you had a Christmas band. You're the one who brought it up. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. You're an asshole. Thanks for selling me out. Yeah. We're supposed to be buds. And, I, dude, Sorry. I'm gullible as fuck, <laughs> man. I, yeah, I'll believe anything you tell me. No, nah, that's <laughs> not true. I'm not very that's smart. Not <laughs> yeah. Oh so, like, what are, like, the most interesting people that you've had on here? Like, anybody, like, as funny as us no there's nobody as funny as you don't do I'm that don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Well, Please don't do that well you know <laughs> he said don't do that yeah no, no i mean we've, a, we've had some cool people in yeah, yeah. We've had some cool people kevin goatee was great we uh if, if you guys don't know kevin goatee does a podcast about movies but it's about like gutting movies and like really like tearing up like popular movies Okay. Uh, he's okay. a he's he's a New Jersey based comedian. He's re, he was really great. I thought. Um, we I, had go ahead. I had Zach Wild's bass player in here. Oh, nice. JD. Yeah. Yeah. He's cool. Oh, he's nice. such a sweetheart. He's the coolest guy. He was such a sweetheart. And you're fading out. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Fuck. Do you guys hear that like little horn? That's the train. Oh no! I thought it was something coming from the walls. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, maybe. My bad. It could be. Or maybe the ghost. Could be. It Ghosts. is a train. Yeah, we are next to the train station, and every time the train comes through, we do a little commercial. Yeah, there you go. Like, yeah, this train, by it's the way, is sponsored. brought to you by. <laughs> this the train is, is brought lava. to you by thefruitislava.com. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, we have hot sauce. Well, Chris has hot sauce. Use code 1000 for 10% off. My first buddy Chuck order. said he knows you too. Ordino? Yeah. He does most of my tattoos. Yeah, that's what he said. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that dude. Me and him are starting up a project soon. We're going to start jamming, jamming together. Sick. He's a cool dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him 2012, I think, 2011, when I first moved around this way. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to him this morning, and I was I told him we were coming on. He's like, oh, I tattooed him a bunch. Yeah, yeah. He's the only one I trust to tattoo my face. Yeah? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I haven't gotten anything from him yet, but soon. Yeah. One day. Yeah. One day. Got to have some money first. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the most expensive hobby. I think it's cheaper to do drugs. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, depends on the drugs. Music's a pretty expensive hobby too. You're right. Yeah. 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 You should get into a band, make some money and then get tattoos. Bands make money? Oh yeah. Sorry. My bad. (laughs) Do they? No. No. I I know podcasts don't make money. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) We tell that people all the time. Like we don't make a guy. This podcast costs us money. People don't understand. Oh, no. that. Yeah, we, nah. we 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 put on those shows. Like money comes out of our pocket. All the money, all the money we do get from the place, I pay the sound guy, and then whatever's left over, I divvy it up between the bands. Yep. And then sometimes, like we've had the bands donate merch, and then we raffle it off, and you know, do a donation to the podcast, and you get entered in the raffle for like free T-shirts or CDs. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. and then you know, that's the little bit of money we, when we get up enough, enough money, we buy a new camera or we buy a new, you know, some new stands, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, you're, you're you're just like putting it back into the project and yeah. continue to yeah. build and build. That's yep. the way. That's the uh, that's the only way to do it, really. I mean, that's the best way to do yeah, it. Yeah, because we started it with just 
because he has a studio at his house on that where we both be musicians. We just kind of scrounged through all the shit we had and had this little makeshift apparatus, like, you know, this plugged into that, plugged into that, plugged into my computer and we made it work. And then as we went along, we, like I said, we bought the roadcaster and then we got the board. Then we had that. And then we bought some new cameras and that actually <laughs> reminded me, I'm sorry to cut you off. My first rig was my buddy's computer and we had, the snowball microphone, the USB microphone. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. We, we've always had good <laughs> mics from his studio, but, like, originally we used, like, a little, uh, what was it, the Tascam DR40X. Yep. A little like, handheld freaking recorder well, with two XLRs. Yeah, but I was and running, like, a 16-channel board out. Yeah. Like, mix it We would live. come off his PA That's system and then cool. run yeah. run that into no, the Tascam. Really. And then <laughs> Tascam's with a computer. It's and, definitely a lot of work. But, yeah, that's fucking humble beginnings, man. Yeah. You got to just, just like one step at a time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I think we're still beginning, but yeah, whatever. I mean, pretty much. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, like if it wasn't for him and like the guy that used to work for for us, like I wouldn't be here. This wouldn't be a thing. Like, <laughs> I don't know half the shit. I, don't, I couldn't edit. I can't, you know, I can barely run the board. I can turn it on. I can get the levels right. Obviously, I don't understand how to work the gate. <laughs> <laughs> you know like just certain things it's like you know it takes a team for sure oh, yeah, yeah. For well, like sure, i said it's sure. yin and yang he he mixes all the audio i do all the video yeah because yeah, i don't i don't even want to be bothered with like editing video like that just seems like a headache it is right it does it does, it does. and so, i didn't know yeah, i didn't know shit i just started watching thing. youtube videos and learned how to do it watching youtube videos and i can't even do it with iMovie i'm like that much of a neanderthal caveman like i really like i understand but i just i can't do it i can barely read though i don't have an education i mean it's so, very it's very tedious it is yeah it's, you know yeah. you gotta get well, they very, gotta get the ai for that where you could be like cut here and it just does it for you That'd they have awesome. that they're developing that yeah. yeah yeah well at least for when you're doing shorts and stuff like that they have programs where you can just upload like I three just, hours of video and it gives you like 15 20 broken out little short clips yeah i just tried munch ai yeah, and uh, I, I I gotta try to see tweak it a little bit because it pans for you as to like whoever's talking. We yeah, gotta find faces. And yeah, but talking. this one, it like Dakota was sitting there, I was sitting here, I was talking, but it was like on her and panning like halfway and going back to her. It was really weird. Yeah, but yeah. it's cool. Like it does the captions, it breaks up the clips, puts them in the format you need for TikTok, YouTube, whatever. TikTok. <laughs> Wait, all you the guys kids have a TikTok? Are, I do, yeah. No, do. like for the for the show. We did, but that got shut down. Oh. So I just put clips on my personal one, and it's really just all show clips. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's why did yeah. why did it get shut down? Well, because it was Ryan's oh, account. So. Oh, so he just took it and shut it down when he had left. So. Oh, so we could just make a new one. Yeah. True story. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, tr- I okay. tried the TikTok thing. It's just I. I <laughs> It's a full there's time no, job. It's there's a no, lot. There's no rhyme or reason to it. But no. here's here's the weird thing is that some of the bands that we've been talking to lately, TikTok is such a major thing. It's like record label, TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Record like, labels TikTok actually give you a TikTok budget. Yeah. Like this like, is your budget stupid. for doing TikTok. What? Oh, yeah. It, that's It's that big right now. Now, what, what, explain, explain Yeah, I know. It's stuttering on that yeah. one. Explain like, that. Fuck? So a musician's goal. Is either get a record, get a record contract. Well, really, any influencer's goal because that's an influencer, quote unquote, in the under the umbrella sure. of that. Yeah, but yeah. As, for, as a specifically as a musician, their goal being TikTok, meaning that they would be paid by TikTok to do what? No, they're no. using TikTok to prove that they could get followers. And people will see their music, and it will become viral. Yeah. yeah. Or a record label to sit there and be like, "Not even here's a record deal." It's like, well, we could give you distribution. Like yeah. nobody's gonna record a band anymore. Like no label is gonna go. Here's whatever the budget was. Ten thousand. Yeah. We'll just say ten thousand dollars. Go make me a record. And they used yeah. to give you like, "This is for like making a music video." You don't get the for the music video anymore. They're gonna say, "This is for your content creation for you know TikTok, Instagram, Facebook." Yeah. It's awesome. It's a great world. We, we need to get there one day. Dude, I want somebody to hand us a fucking check and say, here, go do, go make a video. Like, how sick would that be? You Sorry. have to find somebody willing Sorry. to give you yeah, a check. Yeah, but like not like a local band. <laughs> a local band, the only thing you're going to get out of a label as a local band is distribution. You know, you're, until you're like a mid-level or higher band, 
and you're like, you know, actively touring, you're not going to get any kind of contract from a record label that's going to give you any type of budget for anything. Right. Mm. <clears throat> Very I interesting. I don't even think yeah. labels fucking care about touring anymore. That's more management company. Yeah. To, to an extent, yeah. So the labels don't really make money on the tours. It's just like who makes Oh, no, the money? they do because now they take percentage of your merchandise. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why a fucking T-shirt at a concert is eighty dollars. Yeah, oh, it's fucking stupid. And I, in the past like four months, there's been so many huge bands canceling tours because of that. Like, no they're, way. They're, they're not going to go out on tour and give up that forty percent of their merch because that's the only that's the only place that's the band they, that's makes where they their were making their money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That I knew. That I knew. Because uh-huh. I always every time I eat, especially like going to shows at at the uh, convention hall and shit, I always buy merch. Oh yeah, it's the only way to support the band. They yeah. actually support the band because you got to remember all the big clubs around here, like the you know the the big cap venues. You you know the band's gonna walk in there and want one hundred and fifty to two hundred tickets guaranteed. Yeah, and it, and then you walk into a room and hand a guy eight thousand dollars and you get three hundred bucks back. You know something like that. You know you get two dollars a ticket oh, or three dollars if you're lucky. You get three dollars a ticket back. Dude, I had no idea it was that fucking cutthroat. And the, oh, and then yeah. nowadays, if you you go to a show, you're paying forty, fifty dollars for a ticket, and and you're only getting three bucks back for as as a band. That's 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 fucking crazy. That's to me that to me that says that there's like a there's money to be made there. There's a market to be made there for people like you guys who are starting to do independent shows. Oh yeah, but then you all got to see that that's where the greed is. They're already making that much money, and they still want a forty percent cut of your merch. Yeah. Right. On top of that. Dude. Right. I mean, this goes right down. Like, go to uh, famous bands. You know, their insurance is ridiculous. Insurance? Insurance for a show. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. The band I mean, has to pay the insurance yep. for the venue, the whole venue, the overall venue. So every yep. every play, uh, 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 viewer, every attendee yeah. is covered by the band's insurance. Yeah. Yep. Bullshit. Ever no since all like way. all that stuff, like well, you know, thank you, Great White, for burning half a place down. Yeah, once, that but. and like you know when bands throw shit out in the crowds and hit people in the head. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, the, 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 the club Get owners, the fuck they want to make their money yeah, and they don't want to be liable for that. Yeah. Huh. Wow, you learn something new every day. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and even you got. I'm, I'm not going to name names, but you got places in this area where you want to, as a local band, you want to step in and play a bigger stage that's not like a DIY kind of venue. They're going to be like, all right, sell me forty tickets on a Tuesday night. Right. And then you do that. You bust your ass and you do that. And they're like, all right, well, now I want you to sell 70 tickets on a Sunday afternoon with nobody, just a bunch of locals. And if you do that, then they're like, all right, we'll let you be the very opening slot on a Friday night for a mid-level band, but you got to sell 100 tickets. And then if you want to play that and actually open for like a big name band, you're you're selling 150 to 200 tickets as a local band. Yeah, it's it, yeah. it comes down to like you know you can't you can only ask your buddies and your family members to come to see you yeah. so many times. Yeah. And at that point, <laughs> it gets to be like a pay to play situation because yeah. most local bands aren't going to be able to sell two hundred tickets, so they're going to end up having to buy out those tickets. And I've also run into instances it ha- it happened to me where we were slated to be you know there's two main bands and three local openers, and we were supposed to be the last local opener before the the national the national bands took the stage. We came in, we were we so we told them we'd sell 130 tickets. We sold 115. And we refused to buy out those last 15. And he moved us last second to the opening slot of the night. Oof. So we told oh we told God. everybody we were going on at 8 30. We went on at 6 p.m. and none of our people even saw us play. That sucks. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's it's the way it goes, man. Yeah, it's it's that's terrible. So the keep goes. keep doing independent shows. I think that's the moral of the story here. Is well, that's, you guys, that's, that's our goal. Yeah, exactly. We keep, we keep them it. free. We don't charge anybody to come in the door. And all ages, like we have little kids coming at our shows. They got you know earmuffs on to protect their ears, and they're running around dancing. It's great. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. anytime you guys want have anything to promote or anything, please let us know. Don't hesitate. Like we will shout it out. I mean, we're a very small knit. It goes back to our statement. Like, it's got to be, if we're going to do it and we want to do it the right way, it's got to be a community that gets behind it. Yeah, dude, And it's got to be, because we tell every every band that comes on our podcast, you share just your episode and one of your your fans watches that. The next time they go on YouTube, we're going to come up on their recommended and it's going to be some other band that we've had on. Yeah. And they've never even seen or heard of them before. And then, so every time you come on, you're sharing helps 
every band that we've had on. And that's how it grows as a community. I love that. I love that. I'm all about that. Yeah. You know, we we had that talk with, uh, what's his name, about starting the, the media thing. Yeah. Very well said. I was going to say, how do you fix that in post? No, I just got to bleep the whole thing and make believe you said something that's not supposed to be said. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing is I, I got sick of, like, like I said, the club promoters and, and all these people just being so goddamn greedy that I wanted to find a way to try to do at least something where it's, like I said, you don't have to pay to get in. Anybody can come. And it, it the only people that really benefit from it, I mean, I don't even benefit from it. The, the bands do. Right. Like I said, I give them, I, I pay the sound guy, which is what you, you got to do. Yeah. You got to pay the sound guy. And then everything else I have, if I have three bands, it gets split three ways. If I have four bands, it gets split four ways. And I mean, it might only be 40, 50 bucks each, but it, it's something. Right. You know? And, and all they got to do is share it on social media and come up and play a fucking set. Nice. You would think that's easy. No, just kidding. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> like you said earlier, social, social media is a full-time job in itself yeah. oh, it's a fucking it nightmare. really is it's a nightmare it i really hate is. doing it i don't do it enough i don't do it consistently like we all like do our part but it's like i always feel like we could do more but i don't want to just over flood the feeds with just the same bullshit you know what i mean mm. yep but i feel well, like that's how you get out there we were talking the other day I, I watch a lot of podcasts on like how to grow your podcast you know just, just things like that and they're like yeah you should probably try to post on social media anywhere from three to five times a day I'm like who the fuck has time for that a day a day a day, a day. It's crazy it is I'm, a full-time job like, you have, <laughs> making all this content and doing all this stuff and it, like what so you, you have to hire a social social media manager right and you're not making money yet. So how are you yeah. going to hire somebody? You want, you want right. to come do this for free? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, do you want to have an internship? Like, uh, How does that work? Yeah. Because you don't start make you can't monetize anything for any platform until you have a thousand subs. Yep. Right. YouTube changed their monetization. You can like, there's levels now. If you have a certain amount of short views in x amount of days yeah, it's like a thousand subscribers or ten thousand short views or something yeah, like yeah. that yeah it might be like 10 or 3 million minutes or watch time hours or something, something like, like something whatever like that. Yeah, yeah it's dumb or to get full monetization i think it's 1000 subs and 4000 watch hours in it's like in a year's days. time or something yeah, like that yeah yeah Wow. No, it's tough. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, and everybody I talked to that has more than a thousand subs that started the way all of us started said that's the, the hardest thing is to reach your first thousand. Oh yeah, because it once you get to that point, it should have somewhat of a snowball effect. You, pretty much. Yeah. That's what they say. Because you know, you like, start getting put out there more. But you know, it's <laughs> he's got his store and his things and his family and we do a band together. I mean, I, I work full time. I go to school full time trying to get my degree. It's like, when the fuck? Exactly. When am I supposed to have time to post five times a day on social media? Not even post, like cut up and edit and have the content of ready and available yeah. to post yeah. five different things every day. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. He works full time. I work full time. Like, It's tough, man. It really it's is. It's real tough. It is. It's real but tough. I mean, I, I try to look at it as we don't have a big audience, It's but the, the audience we have is pretty dedicated and they watch pretty consistently and it's i'd rather have a few people that listen and watch everything and appreciate it and then, then have you know just like a bunch of numbers that don't mean anything i hear you they mean something eh. <laughs> not until you get into the ridiculous numbers they don't mean anything when you first started were you bombarded with a lot of like <laughs> You know you can buy subs. You know you can do this. Anytime I make a post, I get five guys from India telling me how to yeah. how to fix my Google SEO. Yeah, exactly. It, and like I say, I'm super gullible. I've never did it, but there was a time very in the very beginning where I thought about it. But you can do that. But they're all bot accounts. They're all bot accounts. And then when it comes to time to monetize, you won't get monetized. <laughs> yeah, because they don't, right. they're not active profiles. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, it... it, it it helps in a sense where we'll, if some random person actually comes across your profile and you have 2,000 followers instead of 500, yeah. they're going to think more of it. Like, oh, there's a lot of people that watch this, you know? But in, in, in all actuality, it doesn't help you. I'm, I'm more, I'd rather just grow organically. I like the way it's going. Yeah, it's going slow, but we're going at our own pace. We're doing the content we want to do. 
we can be who we are. You know, we don't have to act like we're somebody else. Yeah, no, yeah, I, same, same. I know? prefer the slow and steady because even in our current situations, I don't have time to deal with having to put out enough content to maintain that kind of audience. Yeah. You know, because at that point, you have to be posting constantly oh, yeah, for every sure. day. If we were making enough money here to where this could be our full-time job, then that's a different story. Oh, 100%. Then I would spend yeah. 10 hours a day in this room. You know, I don't care. Yeah. But yeah, we'd be making in. TikToks. Chris would be learning all the dances. <laughs> oh, I would fucking Britney Spears machete dance all day oh long. God. <laughs> So I would want to see so fucking hot. I would, want, I would love is, to see that. She's like, so that? hot. I mean, she's a total psychopath, but she's I hot. love that, though. That I think that makes kinda, her a little it hotter. Does, it makes it a little interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. Here was my she hot take. take. My hot take a couple weeks ago was uh, Miley Cyrus or uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, Miley. My guy. Yes. Yeah, I would definitely have to say Miley. Yes. Yeah, like you don't even have to think about that. Like, fuck. <clears throat> Never mind. <sighs> I'm not even going to say that. Swift girl's name. Yeah. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is a snack. She's a snack? Yeah, she's oh, delicious. Fucking prime what? rib. Like, what did I say the other day? <laughs> oh, it's so something with Travis Kelsey, and it's like Travis Kelsey's scoring sixes on and off the field. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I mean, don't get me wrong. She's probably like the most famous fucking person on earth right now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, she's got a movie out about her show. Yeah. You know, like how crazy is that? Go to the movie theater and see my live show. Oh, my daughter yeah. went. Yeah. Hey. Her and, my, her and my wife are like, we're going. I'm like, have fun. Yeah. Later. You know who else is about to be the most famous person in the world? Who? Can you show a picture of Paris Hilton's baby? <laughs> What did you no, say? No, she got a kid. Paris Hilton's baby. Oh, I yeah. heard. I read something. They were mocking it because its head or something. Its like head that. is this big. Oh no! It's super smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's super smart. <laughs> Fucking mega mind and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God. All right, stand by. What are we gonna <laughs> do today, by. Brain? <laughs> Try to take over the world. I didn't even know she had a Pinky kid. Pinky in the Brain is one of my favorites. Love it. The anime is great. Yeah, yeah. So underappreciated. I agree. I agree. I'm still a big cartoon person. I love cartoons. Oh, that's why me and my kid, when my kids were growing up, like we used to, I sit down and watch. First thing I did with my son, he hit like three or four years old. I'm like, sir, this is Transformers the movie. It's He's like, what's this? I'm like, this is called a VHS. Oh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. And then it, I was like, it's okay to it's okay to cry when Optimus Prime dies. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. It's okay. I still, to this day. That's because he comes back. Look oh, at God damn. that dome. Wow. That thing had to hurt on the way out, huh? Dude, she's a mess down there. I no? Just, well, well, she probably she's gotta be. Anyway. <laughs> she's, she's gotta be. I mean, wasn't she dating the dude from like Girls Gone Wild or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. Well, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna... She's she's beautiful. She's definitely a good-looking chick. Yes, yes, yes. Well, wait a minute. Did she pass it through or get it cut through? I don't know. So maybe everything's still okay. Ah, uh, she's so vain, she wouldn't want the scar. No, they could get that yeah, plastically they removed. They could get that removed, though. She has the money for it. That's yeah. true. She money, has money, money fixes everything. You're right. It's crazy. That'd be a good thing to research. I just wish I had some of it. <laughs> Me oh, too. God. Life would be so much easier. I, dude. <sighs> yes, life it, would be It's such a struggle, man. Yeah, it's you could do, struggle. like, fun stuff like this all day instead of actually, like, having to do what you don't want to do. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, this is what I love, and... I would be so content doing this all day long. Really would. It would uh, I would love not having to go survey on Long Beach Island every day. Yeah. Standing up on top of the dunes in the middle of winter. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck. So what are your goals? Like, what are your, like, goals? What do you see the podcast? How do you see it developing, like, in the near and, like, intermediate future? Like I said, I just, I'm okay with just slow and steady growth, man. Like, and to be honest, I've told people this before. It's like, I. If it gets big, it it does. If it doesn't, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Like, I love doing it. I love talking to the bands. I love being around music. It just, it to me, it's just fun. Would you guys? Right on. Would you guys? <laughs> and then he laughs. I told well, you. I mean, you know, like, oh, yeah, totally. Because I'm like waiting for a certain town to come, like, come, like, fucking kill me or sue me. Oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a certain, like, there's a certain. I'm on the nice every episode. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's yeah, a certain obviously. town right up the road from here that he constantly. Like, I have to take, like, at least five or six remarks an episode and cut them out. Oh, I my love gosh, that. Yeah. I love that. Like, oh, yeah, certain place flooded. Fuck yeah, that's great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
You're going to have to edit that, probably. (laughs) So I usually say that to him. Like, sorry. So do you guys have a consistent um, shoot schedule, like, and release time? Or is it just kind of like you said, whenever you just, whenever you. We try to put out an episode every other Monday. Okay. Yeah, we try to, but, you know, sometimes life gets in the way. I'd say we're pretty good lately, like at least 80%. Yeah. And like I said, especially during the summer when I'm not in school. Yeah. Well, like normally July and August, we'll do like, we'll record at least one episode, sometimes two every week and just Just try to, just, just try to bank them and then you know just release them every other week as we go we've done that a couple times it's nice to have the little breaks here and there but not having the breaks you know what i mean yeah. it keeps cool. the machine rolling exactly you know? yeah yeah and it gives us time to kind of reset and well, it's like when this comes out just recently you know we have like a where we broke off and we just didn't have a time to get the podcast out but all our shows that we do at manaferk and i, I we re, like we record them and I, we get good audio for them and we we're gonna be putting out all the band sets live from the show on our YouTube, and so that that's a little filler here and there. Nice, nice. Shout out the YouTube channel right now. What is uh, it? I believe it's YouTube.com slash JSM Podcast. JSM JSM Jersey Podcast. Shore Musicians. Fuck yeah! Don't look at nice. me. I have no idea what that's. That's our handle is. on pretty much everything. Everything is it's at JSM Podcast or Instagram is JSM underscore Podcast. SEO friendly. I love it. Nice. It? He's he's an underscore guy too, Chris. We yeah. Well, I had to because on Instagram JSM when po- JSM Podcast was taken. Ah, interesting. But I had to throw the little the little underscore. Did you reach there. out to the person who owns it and was like, "Yo, what's up?" Yeah, because they only posted like one thing, and it was that's like always five the way years it goes, ago. And it? I guess they don't have it anymore because I never got a response. Oh, that is awesome. So I just keep reporting it, hoping they take it down, and then I can switch over to it. Oh, that would be that would be dope. Yeah, yeah, like get it back from the grave. Yep. I had somebody reach out to me and ask me for DC in the city once on Instagram, and I was like, Nah, man, I'm DC in the city. It's just the way it is. <laughs> that's my but shit. <laughs> he's like, He was DC in thus no in in your city or something like that. And he's like, But you could be DC in your city. I'm like, But no, I'm I'm DC in the city. And he's and he like eventually you know stopped messaging me. But I just I thought it was so weird. Like I have I have DC in the city on on all social media, like on everything, 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 and I have for like years. So this kid came out of the like clouds. I was like, hey, man. I was like, no, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> That's mine, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. I've been building this. Well, I've been I noticed, building this. I noticed that if you search Two Cloud of Mines, there's other variations of that now. I'm sure. I mean, it's a really good name, but it's like too good for nobody else to. I'm, dude, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, it's I good. came up with that. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was high as fuck, <laughs> as I should be. That's when you get your best ideas, though. Yeah. Seriously. Hell I was yeah. sitting in the room. Du- no, I was on mushrooms. Oh. Sitting in the dark, my that the room in, in my house that used to be the studio, pitch dark, sitting there, writing shit on paper, just different variations of different names. And I was just like, dude, it's a cloud of mind show. Duh. And then I hated it for the longest time, and then it just... I, Bro. Dude, I want, he's my witness. It's on Do Not Disturb. I took my sound and haptics all the way to vibrate. Like, Listen I'm just going to, gonna, I'm gonna ju- a sentence. I'm going to jump off the fucking roof in two seconds. No, don't do that, man. Yeah, that would be extreme. You might That'd just have to like turn iMessage off of the iPad. There, there's got to be, a, yeah, that you, good call. You, you could just take the iMessage guy, right off. All solutions. I like it. Well, wait a minute. We're kind of hearing it through the headphones, so it's got to be linked into somewhere. Yeah. Right, well, here's I the have thing. a Bluetooth. The issue is, yeah, the his 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 uh, iPad has the soundboard on it, so like he can play a sound bite or whatever the case may be, sound drop. But it's also getting messages, which are also coming. Bing. I'm gonna fucking kill. <sighs> See, like it's like right in my ear, so yeah. it's got to be somewhere. You, like and oh, you can't. Mad. And the funniest part about it is, right? We are all wearing headphones. You cannot ignore the sound; like it can't be ignored. It's, oh it's, no, you can't miss it, right? Well, we had it happen because so we, uh, we would connect his phone to our Rodecaster Bluetooth to do music, and then one day we're talking, and it's just like ding, and we're like, "What the fuck was that? <laughs> where where did a, that come <laughs> from?" We have but a phone number. Everyone too. hears it. So, like, when we do the live show, yeah, when do a call in. Last week, call, yeah. Last we're, week when we did the live, I'm show. I'm gonna start yeah. calling in probably now a lot. Oh, uh, dude, like, please dude, do it, dude. Please do like, it. What's going on? Are we gonna beat some kids up today? <laughs> Hell yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> how many, How many kids old? did you punch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many twelve year olds did you take out today, huh, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working my way up. I only got seven. <laughs> You gotta go check it out on TikTok. Where do, <laughs> yeah. where do bigger groups of them hang out? <laughs> What's all the playgrounds? Reminds me of Step Brothers, <laughs> dude. I got arrested for hanging out by the playground. I don't know why. 
Makes me think of Step Brothers. Like, you're going to lick that dog poop. Right. He licked the white dog poop. (laughs) Holy (laughs) shit. Guys. Oh, my God. Do it. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming okay. out. No, thanks thank for having us, man. We really fun. do appreciate it. Yeah, Dude, it's been awesome having you guys in. Unfortunately, I tell everybody, you're stuck with us now. The door's always open. Anytime you guys both want to come back and hang yeah. out. Yeah, seriously. Well, that, we're not, we're not a problem. You want us up here, you just give us a call. Let's know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah. yeah. We're always about spreading the word and just doing our thing, man. And Same. I love that, dude. Likewise. That's one of the things we, we're trying. Chris and I are trying to enter that community as well. We're trying to like start like reaching out to all the local cool people who are doing cool shit. Yeah. So, okay. you know, so here we are. And, uh, yeah, next time you guys have something you want to promote or anything cool that's going on, you know, reach out to us. Yeah. Even if even if you don't get a chance to come down, let us know so that we can shout it out on our show as well. You know 100%. What I mean? Same yeah. thing. Same, same. If you guys ever got a live going on, awesome. you know, tag yeah. us in it on Instagram and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll post whatever we can post. Fuck cool. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We shit. <laughs> you do it Fucking guy don't do shit I don't I love it when people are like Jeff man I emailed you I'm like yeah not me <laughs> Not me <laughs> That'd be me So one last time uh, How do people find you guys on social media That uh, most of our handles are at JSM podcast or JSM underscore podcast You can send us an email If you want to come on JSMP info at gmail.com That's how you email me directly It's where we do all our booking through <laughs> Yeah, just check it. Most of most the YouTube's got everything on there with video. We are also on all audio platforms nice. except Spotify because fuck Spotify. Oh man. Ooh. Are we on Spotify? Yeah. Oh okay. you gotta be. You get a little extra, you know, reach. You're just I don't even you know nope. that. I have a personal vendetta against yeah. Spotify. All right. Understandably so. Understandable. Yep. It is, but <laughs> still <laughs> stupid. So Jeff, dumb. do you have any yeah. like do you have any ats or handles or whatever you want to show? No, out? no, please don't find me. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, if cool. you want to check out our project, <laughs> it's uh the project's called Sonic Honey. You can, it's on Instagram at, at Sonic Honey NJ. We just released recently released a, uh, an acoustic tune. Came right. out really well. Yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, we'll link everything in the description for awesome. sure. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh till next time. Like always, follow us on YouTube at the Two Cloud of Mind Show. On Instagram, the same thing. A lot of ha- uh, underscores, lots of them. Um, if you want to yeah. find us individually, I'm at little guy Chris twenty eight. DC in the city on all social media. Stay clouded. Later.